I'm here with Darren Pittman, the driver of the Great Clips Number no. 9. We're heading into the month of money, and you're with a new team, and you guys have been extremely consistent this year. With the momentum going into the month of money, what does it mean to you guys trying to get these wins, but yet still keeping running for the points championship? Uh, you you want to win races. I mean, this is uh, you know this is the month that, uh, as a driver and as a team, really uh, makes your salary for the year and and uh, uh, makes your total money earned uh, really uh, jump and, and ahead of everybody else's. So, uh, being consistent, winning races till now has been good. Um, you know, and obviously you, you still want to be smart and, and uh, remember that uh, there's a, a bigger prize at the end of November. November, but uh, uh, you know, I think any elite driver or any team out here that uh, wants to win for a championship, you want to win races and you want to. Win, want to win big races so uh, you know this is uh, this is when our season gets serious uh, not that it's not all year long but uh, uh, you know guys um, I feel like kind of define their careers by what bigger races they've won in championships so um, kind of put everything that we've done out uh, the window earlier this part of the year and uh, focus on now uh, try to be consistent but uh, try to be there to put ourselves in position to win well you are a previous king winning the king's royal back in 08 which was actually your last year on the tour and now you're coming in are you hoping to get another king's royal win with being your first year back on the tour with a new team with the great clips number nine casey kane racing yeah I mean, I mean, you know that's uh, for sure <laughs> nobody uh, uh nobody's ever happy with how many king's royals they've ever won there they always want to win another one so uh uh, yeah, we uh, won the big one uh, the last year that it ran, and uh, we won the King's Royal in 08, and uh, all the trophies that I have from winning those two races, they always have everybody else's name on them, and then just say the pre you know, uh, that you're just the winner. So uh, it's always a goal of mine to win a second one, so at least get a trophy with my name on it as, as a previous year's winner, and uh, uh, it's kind of a dumb goal, but uh, obviously the King's Royal is a huge event that uh, uh, is pretty special, uh, and you know, next to the Nationals, it's as high as it gets. So uh, it's a race that uh, we want to try to win again, just kind of validate uh, uh, that the first one was real also and uh, uh, just as a team it's a, a huge uh, momentum uh, builder for uh, the rest of the year. Now most of these tracks we've visited all year but we have not been to Peevely yet with your new team. What are you guys going to take from what you previously learned by driving there and, and you know, take with your new team and convert that over to that? I'm excited for people. That's one of my favorite racetracks. So uh, it's one that I haven't been able to go to the last four years that uh, uh, really probably bothered me the most that I couldn't race because I always ran well there and always really enjoyed it. So when it rained out in the spring, I was pretty bummed. So uh, I've never actually ran the Ironman. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. I've definitely never been there uh, in uh, August or, or late July, whatever uh, month it's going to be when, when it's that hot. But uh, uh, it's an awesome racetrack and I think one of the best in the country so I'm definitely looking forward to that. We'll look for Darren Pittman and the Great Clips number nine to be definitely competitive this upcoming month of money. I'm here with Donnie Schatz who has dominated at Knoxville and with a month of money approaching that's one of the races on the schedule. You've also had previous wins at the Kings Royal Eldora and Williams Grove for the Summer Nationals. Now you grew up on a half mile and these are all bigger tracks. Do you think that experience growing up on a half mile in Fargo, North Dakota at Red River Valley Speedway plays a part into you doing so good on these tracks? Uh, it's definitely good uh, to get the laps and, and get comfortable at speed. Um, you know, Fargo's a, a way different racetrack than what any uh, Eldora or Williams Grove or any of them are. Uh, and it takes a long time to get good at them places. So, you know, it was definitely a jump start, but it wasn't, uh, you know, it's not something that you can just dwell on. It's definitely, uh, you got to run, you got you to gotta learn to race in places individually and, um, you know, figure out what to do for the next time you come back. Well, you grew up driving fast, and these are definitely fast racetracks, and Knoxville is a track that you continue to dominate every time you go there, and you won previously this season. What, what does it take to win there, and you and your team, every time you guys go there, seem to be successful? Well, we have a, a level of confidence with, uh, with our race cars and our engine program, and um, just the way that, that I like, the, the way that changing surfaces uh, for the way we set up the car, it's just kind of, um, we've built our program around it. You know, everything is... Um, you know built pretty much for that and everywhere else we go we we try to adjust uh, away from that to get ourselves better so it's something you know these guys work awful hard to to make sure that everything's uh, right where we want it to be for for going in there and and it's similar to the way we set up and race a lot of other places so it's uh you know it's just a it's a chemistry you know I've, I've won it with the same crew chief all them times and um, a couple that I should have won it with too. So it's um, you know just just a liking to the place and a, a mental confidence. Uh, it, it's a lot of things. It's uh, it's the atmosphere. Uh, without the atmosphere that Knoxville has, it probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't seem that exciting. But it really is. So uh, just glad to be uh, in that position where we ha we have it uh, in a good spot. Well, they call this the month of money, Donnie. 
you know, being able to dominate this month, does that help you with momentum for the rest of the year? And how do you guys prepare for this month? You don't really do anything different. I mean, it's just another couple races. Yeah, there's some that pay more than others. Um, you know, we look forward to that. You want to make sure you capitalize on them opportunities, uh, you know. But if you don't, it's something you, you have to you have to shrug it off. You know, it's just like uh, today. You win a race last night, you forget about it today, and and you go on and you start you start with this clean slate. You don't worry about uh, last night's going to do me no good tonight. So you know, you just have to um, you just have a, have an attitude that you get away from yesterday and, and move on to today and do your best. And um, you know, when these guys uh, get in a, a rhythm where they get everything going right and uh, they get gelling and working and um, doing the things that they they feel good about and they're confident with, it uh, definitely makes a difference. Well, good luck, Donny, Donny, for the month of money. Thank you. Thanks. I'm here with Paul McMahon, and we're going to talk about the upcoming month of money. Now, you're a new team, and the last time you've had a full ride on the World of Outlaws was 2011. You've been really good and consistent on the wins. You know, what's more important to you going in this month of money, getting the money or staying in the championship hunt? Uh, that's a tough question right there. Uh, you know, you want to definitely stay in the championship hunt because that, that's the big that's the prize at the end of the year that you're really looking for but the month of money is is such a big issue uh you know you pick up one of these one or two of these races during the month of money it can it can really catapult your season and it also helps you in the championship points so uh you know it, it all kind of relates to itself but uh to, to get one of these wins at uh, during the month of money would be a big blessing you and everybody on the CJB Motorsport seems to be collaborating extremely well. Like I just said, you've been very consistent. What does that mean to you guys going into the month of money? Uh, you know, just being consistent right now is it's got us a big boost in confidence. Uh, you know, our car's been strong all year long, but here the last few months or last few races, we, we run the top five about every night. So um, having that confidence going into the month of money is, is a big thing and uh you know like i always tell barry and everybody on our crew is you know if we keep running top fives we're gonna get some wins so hopefully uh, we'll get some of these wins during this month now you've never won a big race in the month of money peevely king's royal lernerville or anything like that so what can you take that you previously learned with your other teams and combine it into this team uh you know i don't know i mean uh, we've been fast at eldor every time i've been there I've, that's one of my favorite racetracks to go to uh you know we, we i was close in 2010 um and joey got in an accident and i had to go to the back and in 29 laps i got back up to third and, and, and just trying to get get a little bit extra on a couple of them restarts and, and got in the fence but uh you know we came back in 2011 run third again and uh, last year I was on the front row and we had motor issues so uh, we've been very consistent at Eldora and um, we're fast there at the beginning of the year with the, the, the 51 car and uh, just really looking forward to it. Williams Grove is, is Barry's home track and this is where CJB Motorsports has started was at Williams Grove and uh, we won a preliminary night at the, at the Summer Nationals before I've, I've ran second at the Summer Nationals um, we've run, you know, run very well, won races at Williams Grove, so really looking forward to that race, too. Uh, Lernerville, I've had some good runs there. Never won a race there yet, but, um, you know, I've been running very good. We Last year, when I, my first race, uh, first weekend with Barry and, and the CJB Motorsports team, we went to Lernerville and um, was battling, contending for the win with five to go and, and blew a motor up. So um, luck hasn't been on our side for a lot of these big races, but uh, we got everything there and, and to, to go out and win races, and, you know, the confidence level's up right now, so uh, hopefully we can get one of these this month. Well, we look for you in the CJB Motorsports number 51, Paul McMahon, to be very competitive in the upcoming month of money. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Well, we're approaching the month of money, and we're here with somebody who has an impressive resume during the month of money, Joey Saldana. He has won Kings Royal three night befores. You've won uh, Silver Cup, and you've also won the Ironman. Now, you have a new team. How have you prepared with your new team, taking experience that you have previously at Eldora, Lernerville, and Peavley? I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I think we're just learning as we go and um, just trying to get better every race. And definitely the month of money is when you want to shine. So hopefully um, we've learned a lot up to this point. And, um, you know, we're positioned in one of them big races to run up front, and we capitalize on it, and we get a victory. You seem to run really, really well at Adora, and you were actually hurt there a couple years ago. What have you learned from that experience, taking that to coming into this year? Um, I've always really enjoyed Eldora. I've always run pretty well there from way back when I first started racing. And um, I just, I don't know, growing up watching my dad race there, I just really love the whole atmosphere of the place and, and what it means. And, um, you know, I appreciate the whole the whole place and what it stands for so i don't know i just go in there and uh seem like it doesn't really matter what i'm thinking or where we're racing i just enjoy racing that track so hopefully we can uh go into that weekend which is in a couple days and uh 
have the same philosophy and go in there and just think of it as another race and appreciate what it is and hopefully we can run well. Well, good luck, Joey, during the month of money. We wish you all the best. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm here with David Gravel, who is also the leading contender for the Kevin Goldbrett Rookie of the Year. And, David, this is going to be your first full-time competing for the month of money. What have you and your team done to prepare for that? Uh, you know, uh, just get our spares ready and have our best motors ready to run at the biggest shows and the biggest tracks. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's good enough. Now, you've won at Eldora on the prelim night, but in a 360. What did you learn from that that you can take and adjust to a 410 with this team? Well, you know, Eldora is, you know, where everybody wants to win other than Knoxville. And uh, it, it's tough to compare a 360 to a 410. But, um, you know, it's just good to get a win there. And uh, we've run there pretty well in the past few races. So I'm excited to go back and see what we got. The Ironman 55 is coming up at Peavley, and that's one of the most gruesome races. It's hot, 55 laps around that little bull rink. And you've never been there before. What what kind of can you take from other tracks, maybe like Grand Forks or Hucits, that are sort of similar to Peavley that you can relate going to uh, Peavley? Yeah, I like those tracks usually, uh, you know, short little you know, high, high, uh, you know, energy tracks and, uh, you know, 55 laps is good because usually we're better at the end of the race than the beginning of the race. So, uh, I'm excited to go there and, you know, that track's very historic. Well, good luck, David. We wish you all the best for the month of money. Thank you. Thanks, David.